It's squealing squirrel mail time. If you were on my live yesterday, you've already seen this beautifulness. It's Kindred Knit Picks yarn. DK weight cactus 115 yards. And it is 68 baby alpaca. It's a number three. 68 baby alpaca, 32 Peruvian Pima cotton, and y'all. Oh, y'all, it's wonderful. Now I just need to get three more <laughs> to make a shawl, unless I make something else with it. If you have ideas what to do with 115 times three yards of beautiful DK cactus kindred from Knit Picks Yarn. Tell me, tell me. Again, it's a size 3. 3 weight yarn, 68% baby alpaca. You see the little fuzzies on there? It's not real, it's not real fuzzy, but you can see the little fibers sticking out. Uh, 32 Peruvian Pima cotton. Hand wash, dry flat, but I would do that with anything that I made. Y'all know FOs. Rare thing for Granny D. And that came from an it's Oh, and by the way, I got these two. That came from, oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. Is it Amy Kate? Her channel name is The Graceful Tangle check her out but I won from Instagram but she does have a YouTube channel she's so young and cute and thank you so much my darling speaking of giveaway I do have more happy mail from that sweet Doris Rose Cottage Studio she told me to be looking for a box so Miss Doris I got it today Woohoo! haven't peeped I'll be opening up it next. Daigo, you know, had a giveaway. And she pulled the winners just yesterday. And I donated these two books that I found at Dollar Tree. But price tag on it is $27.95. And in Canada, $31.95. And it says... I don't know that I want to read all this to you, but it says, uh, hmm, intermediate to advanced level beaters can explore the stitch combination in sublime, there was a uh, sentence before that, sublime jewelry, refreshers on fundamental information and techniques are followed by 23 projects. And there's necklaces, there's bracelets, there's all kinds of stuff, earrings. But anyway, gorgeous stuff. Look at on the back. And the winners were, and they know, Maribel. Congrats to Maribel. And I will get it off hopefully on Monday. And who was my other? Mimi! Mimi Cat Do was the other winner. And if you two ladies, if beating's not your thing, uh, maybe you can have a giveaway with them. I will not be. My feelings will not be hurt in the least. Feelings will not be hurt. And I would say I would exchange. You could let me know and I would exchange for a crochet book, but I don't have any. It's time to go back to check Dollar Trees. But I'm without my van, y'all. I've been without my van since yesterday. Or was it Thursday? Thursday. It's sitting at the garage waiting on tires because they said it wasn't safe to drive. And here I have been driving all over everything. Before I get to my box, sorry. Y'all look, I'm putting a ruffle on and I'm winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Y'all know with crochet, I'm making big old picos. I guess that's what they are. I'm chaining like three and just sticking them in wherever. I got some places that are really, really roughly and some that aren't. 
and the button I just sewed through all the way but I think I gotta take it off I'm gonna show y'all this on live today because it's not really right in the middle but I don't know that it matters all that much but anyway I'm doing ruffles I don't know what I'm doing but I'm doing it you can see there it's just kind of wah wah and then here it's like ruffles <laughs> so I um, just have this much more and then back to here so I'm almost done but I was trying to make sort of a Outlander inspired piece. I know they probably didn't have these cool buttons. This is like a coconut shell button glazed and painted. Maybe they did though. They had pottery and stuff. Whatever. Wah wah. On live today, I'm going to be calling out some more. Look at all these names. And that's not even all of them. Of the Nutty Buddy Squad. And then I got some new ones. That I have one more thing before I open. I'm going to be calling out some more Nutty Buddies. Every day till we get them all shouted out again. This. I keep trying to post this on my. It's on my Facebook it's in my Facebook group so you can definitely see it there in the newest one and you can print this up too Lion Brand's gonna have this Hadathon starts on Thursday June 10th and I had told y'all yesterday I think during a live that Crystal wasn't on here well I think it was Ola Joe that said when I watched the replay if it wasn't Ola Joe y'all forgive me but I think it was her Crystal is right there. She is in the lineup. And y'all, there's so many people. It's so a hatathon Lion Brand. Hashtag Hat Not Hate Hatathon 24 Hours Live. And it's set part of the celebration of the She Show, you know, Shira. And it's her family that owns, you know, Lion Brand. Uh, 300th episode with a 24-hour live stream to help end bullying. And it starts, like I said, Thursday, June 10th. So that's this coming Thursday, uh, 12 noon. And it has all the guests and then kind of tells what it is they're going to be doing. All the guests, the time. And there's mystery box. Every so often you'll see mystery box and merchandise giveaway there's one at 2 30 uh, p.m on and these are eastern times because they're in new york new york city <laughs> and then at 5 30 that evening will be another mystery box and merchandise giveaway and they're in red <laughs> And then that night at 8.45, again on June 10th, which is Thursday, another mystery box of merchandise giveaway. And then at 11.30, so what is that? One, two, three, four. Yep, four giveaways. I know, <laughs> this, is, this is a happy meal, and I'm putting everything in it, but y'all know me. Then it goes to Friday, June 11th. Like I said, it's 24 hours straight through at 2.15 a.m. Mystery Box and Merchandise Giveaway. And at 5.30 a.m. another one. And at 8.30 a.m. another one. And the last one's at 11.30 a.m. on Friday, June 11th. So, you can, um, this is on my Facebook, like I said, in the, um, my newest group the squirrel squad group and i keep trying to put it on my community page and it'll be there for a minute and then it'll go away if you still where it says 404 you know error page not found if you click on the home back home or something like that click on that and then it says click here to find the schedule you can get it in case you don't do facebook 
me see if I can put it on Instagram too for those folks. But I'm excited about that. And I'm real excited about this box. Ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I should have looked the graceful tangle for these gorgeous. Oh, they're so soft. Pima cotton. Baby alpaca. Miss Rose, Miss Doris Rose Cottage Crochet. <laughs> feel like it's my birthday. Thank you so much, my darling. You know, none of you have to send me a thing a ling a ling. And it's so exciting, isn't it? I need to send out. Well, I'm going to be sending those books out. And I keep saying for the last two lives. The last two lives, I've said, we're going to have a live giveaway, you know, in the in the chat. Either today or tomorrow, that will happen. It will be a book, because I have to do cheap postage, and if I do a book, I can send it media mail. The only thing with it, and I'll say this again whenever I do it, whether it's today or tomorrow, and remember, I'm on today at 3, two hours earlier than I usually am. All these are Eastern times. And tomorrow, 3 also. And on the weekends is when I do the stream yard so y'all can come up with me. <laughs> I can talk over you and I can miss everything in the chat. <laughs> y'all. I do go back and look at the replay, but I am so sorry and often just mortified at the stuff I've missed. Oh, and here's another important point. This probably isn't the place to put it either, but just because it's on my mind, I'm thinking about it. If I ever, if you ever greet me and greet me several times and I appear to be ignoring you, please don't think that because and it's happening to me too and I'm just hoping and praying that I haven't made it's, it's more than one person so I'm hoping and praying I haven't made these folks mad at me but uh, some one of my lovely squirrels feelings got hurt because I had missed you know, she told me hello like three or so times and I, I appeared to be ignoring her. Well, I don't remember ever seeing that. So the only thing I could think of was that I could have been in top chat. And like I say, I'm hoping that's why I felt because my feelings getting a little hurt. I'm like, what have I done? I keep saying hello. Hello. Hey. How are you? <laughs> but you know. Just please don't ever think that because it is never, ever, ever, never, never my intent to miss anybody. Oh my gosh, Miss Rose. I mean, Doris. <laughs> Rose Cottage Crochet. What a gorgeous card. This is handmade paper. I know before I even saw it on the back, but I just looked to make sure. Isn't that a beautiful card? And the Cardinal's our state bird. Is that not gorgeous? My daughter being artsy. Well, both my daughters were. Well, all three of them. But the one in the middle that I don't speak a whole lot about is Andrea because she's really my stepdaughter. But that really doesn't matter. But she's in Baltimore and we don't chat all that much but I do love her dearly but my daughters are artsy and really the youngest one I, well Lindsay might have done it too but they made paper before Granny D to the most wonderful grandma <laughs> in the Yarny community and beloved by all oh, I don't know about that but thank you so much Christmas in July early happy mail oh, thank you so much hugs and kisses Doris Rose Cottage Studio you my dear are a blessing and I love you so much and you and your family continue to be in my prayers oh my god 
It is some gorgeous Christmas yarn, y'all. Oh my gosh, and she made me something. Made by hand with love, Doris Anna Wright. Thank you, sweetie. That tag, I don't know if it fell off or you left it for me to put on there. Oh my gosh. Would y'all look at that? Crystal would die. And I'm about to die too. This is from Hobby, y'all. I call it Hobby. Sometimes I call it Hobby. H-O-B-B-I-I. -I, and it's a size 3. And it's called Christmas Acrylic. And let's, I wonder if the colors have names. Let's see what it says. I love these organza bags that they put them in. Each one, it looks like, has 382 yards. Um, you use a US 6 needle or a G to an H hook made in turkey it's got the o-e-k-o -E tech standard thing on it it is gorgeous well that makes something beautiful for christmas this is a bright christmas red and a dark one let me just see if it's got if it has color names on it. Aren't you so sweet, Doris? Oh my gosh, it's so soft. And I love number three yarns. Love them, love them, love them. 100% acrylic. I think I said that already. And that it's a three. I'm just looking to see it. No, they don't have color names. It's just got uh, color numbers and lot numbers, but I just say this is a dark Christmas red and a bright Christmas red. And a beautiful cream and the green. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's got to be a gorgeous, I'll start to say a Christmas throw, but heck, it might be a Christmas shawl. If I start now, I might finish by Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my gosh. And look at this. Sparkly yarns. Sparkly. And it's gold sparkles in it. Can y'all see that? This feels like cotton. It is. Premier Home. And this is a size 4, and the color is red gold. I'd say that's perfect. Premier. Premier Home. Thank you so, so much. I've got some more of their cotton, but I do not have red. OMG, y'all. OM to the G. Oh, my gosh. Is it a shawl? Oh, it is. Look how beautiful. Doris. Oh, my gosh. Look at the pen. Doris, you are a blessing. Which you were even before you sent this. But oh, my God. I'm knocking this all over the place. Can y'all see that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pen? But this, oh my gosh. I want it to be Christmas right now. <laughs> that is amazing. So thick and squishy. Love the border on it too, which goes all the way around. Doris. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, darling. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Get put back in here. I'll put it back. Well, I won't be putting it there. I'm going to put it on my... i got to get a name for my, my mannequin. And y'all know me, it needs to be a country name. 
I love Jeannie. Butterfly Dreams Crochet with Jeannie. I think hers is after her. Was it her aunt or great aunt or grandmother? Eula. I think it's Eula. That was one of her questions. I need something country like that. Something may. Maybe it doesn't have to be. Y'all put in the comments if you could think a name for it's a kind of fancy. It's uh, and it's really broken. The kids broke the base of it. <laughs> One time they must have climbed it. It's when my daughter had four young and she had a set of twins, a boy and a girl. They were a little bit wild. <laughs> but who knows what they had lived through. What I'm doing is getting ready to read. Oh my gosh. Oh, but it's time for Kimber Ann to be on. So I might have to read later. So Kimber Ann's on right now. Kim, Kim's Crochet and Knits. I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Miss Graceful Tangle for three of these. Oh no, my subscribe just fell. And this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And y'all enter I, those IG contests. And Doris. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Mwah. And thanks to all the squirrels for just being a squirrel. Mm. Now. <laughs> Love y'all. I hope to see it. Uh, well, Kim's. And then over at my house back here. Love ya. Be sweet. Don't be ugly. Bye.